Hey YouTube, SciGuy29 coming at you here. Uh, been a while since I've made a video. Going to update you on a few things that uh, have been going on. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I teach third grade. Uh, so we've finished up our virtual school year, which was the first big hurdle. Um, as crazy as a regular end of a third grade school year can be, multiply that by 100 uh, for this year. Um, one other thing that's also been taking up some time uh, has been high school baseball. Uh, I coach, I'm the assistant high school baseball coach, uh, kind of a unique situation. My son is the head high school baseball coach. Here in Iowa, we play baseball uh, in the summer. We're the only state in the United States that does that. Uh, we got clearance the last week of May. We found out that we would be, uh, second to last week of May, found out we would be starting practice on June 1, two weeks of practice. Uh, followed by a shortened season. So we'll start playing games uh, the, the 15th week from today and uh, shorten our season from 30 to, to 14 games. Um, better than nothing. Now, this will be the first year uh, coaching with my son as the head coach. Uh, the last six years we've done junior high baseball together. Um, I was a high school baseball coach when he was in school. Once he graduated, I dropped down to the junior high level. So uh, that's kind of what's been taking my time. Got the Ram gear on, uh, ready to go uh, for practice this afternoon. Uh, it's been crazy hot here uh, in central Iowa compared to what we usually have. Uh, the first week of June, we've had uh, like six straight days, 88 or higher. Yesterday was 80 or 95. Uh, another day today that's supposed to be 95 was out this morning checking the field, doing some things. Uh, it's warm. So, Thought I'd come back, make a quick video. I hadn't done anything for a while. I just had a few pickups uh, from my personal collection. Uh, for those new to the channel, uh, which most of you are, uh, Cy Guy 29 the 29 stands for Dan Quisenberry. That was his number with the Royals. Uh, two, of the, two of the three items that I'm going to show you today are not associated with the Royals. Uh, first one will be... Um, for those that aren't sure, Dan was my second cousin. He and my mom were first cousins. Um, lost him way too early. Uh, during this break, I've also been doing some TTMs uh, through the mail, uh, autographs. And I've been asking questions of, of uh, players, you know, that either competed against Dan or were teammates and how that all kind of uh, their thoughts, memories. Uh, so hopefully in a future video, I'll be sharing uh, some of those. Uh, Billy Sample sent back a great one, as did Kurt Stillwell. Uh, so that that's another video down the line. Hopefully, uh, I can start being a little more consistent. Uh, one of the things that uh, I do, I also work for our tech department in the summer at school. So that's one of the things I'll be doing. Um, I'm going to flip the camera, or the I'm filming this on a Chromebook. Uh, so I'll be flipping this over to the side here in just a minute, kind of give you a different look at things behind me. Uh, some of my Dan. Uh, Quisenberry Wall, I kind of see back a few things there. Um, as I said, one Royals and two uh, Cardinals items. Uh, for those that don't know about Dan, relief pitcher uh, came up in 79 with the Royals for the first time, stayed, uh, was a four-time uh, fireman, Rollades relief pitcher of the year, uh, led the league in saves uh, four times, kind of defined, I think, the modern role of the closer, and uh, ended up uh, getting cut by the Royals, uh, middle part of 88, and signed with the Cardinals about a month later, finished out 88, played 88 and 89 with the Cardinals, and then joined the uh, Giants for a short period of time. So if anybody has anything uh, related to Dan uh, and the Giants, I would love to see it, have the chance to maybe purchase it, because I have a picture of... Uh, that I've been able to find of him with the Giants, and that is it. So I, I would certainly love to come up with more of those items. So hit me up in the comments uh, if you know of anything. I'm going to turn the camera quick and show you a couple items. Okay, first item is an 84 uh, all-star card of Dan. Um, near Mint Mint 8. Uh, picked this up for about $4. Um, it's crazy that, you know, I can find Hall of Famers a lot cheaper than I can find P 
PSA graded cards of Dan. Um, just like this one, uh, it was relatively affordable for me. Um, just a nice little pickup I like. Uh, like the All Star cards. Um, this one especially I like. A uh, little Tiger Stadium action there in the background, I believe. So an 84 tops Dan Quisenberry. The next one, as I said, was a Cardinals item. Uh, this is an 88 score traded. I did not have this one. Just picked this up a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, just, you know, the, the, the typical sideline, deli sidewind delivery. Uh, if you heard something fall in the background, something just fell in the back room here at my house. Um, but this is Dan, uh, you know, kind of what he's known for, for those people that didn't know him personally. You know, the side, sidearm style is certainly one of those things. Now, the next item I want to show uh, came in an envelope such as this. And inside the envelope, sorry about that, was the cardboard folded over. And then inside the cardboard was a taped paper towel. And this is kind of cool. I've never seen this one before. And this is a Smokey the Bear uh, St. Louis Cardinals uh, giveaway. And I, I have not done much research on these to find out how they were given away. You can see Dan's number was 40 uh, with the Cardinals instead of 29. Um, once again, if you know, just kind of like the giant stuff, if you have uh, oddball or personal photos or whatever you might have of Dan with the Cardinals, I'd be also interested in that. So um, just a little bit of uh, my collection, uh, new to the collection items, and uh, just thought I'd share those with you today. Um, as always, appreciate it. Uh, hit the like, subscribe button, leave comments. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and until next time, have a great day.